Hi there everybody, I'm here at this park to do my first ever top five, favorite five. These are not the top five things you'd want camping. These are not the uh, latest and greatest top five camping stuff, but these are the five things I always take with me camping. So I camp from what you consider glamping all the way to you know, semi-rustic, no electric and stuff like that. So th this will kind of cover parts of all of that, I, I guess, because I do camper cabin usually in the winter and summer is kind of all over the place, mostly tent, sometimes electricity. So these are five things I almost always have on me when I go out camping. If I'm somewhere I have electricity and it's usually 50-50, Maybe more than that. Electric kettle, which I never even knew existed three years ago. Uh, and this is great if you don't have time or, you know, maybe the weather's not great and you do have electric just to uh, heat up water. And it heats up water very quickly and it heats it up scorchingly hot. So I use it for instant coffee a lot. Um, you can use it for dishes. Um, you know, if you're making your freeze dried foods and stuff like that only takes like two minutes to heat up the water and you're, you're good and you know you, you bypass uh, having to get a fire going and stuff like that if you don't have that option or you know maybe in, in the morning you just want to get packed up and go electric kettle next up is a transistor radio which may seem ancient but uh, a lot of times you're out there and you don't have uh, access to cell service and stuff like that i've certainly been uh, on that and you know maybe you like to listen to the sports ball uh it, while you're ha have a fire or some local music but also this has weather band on it which is very helpful <clears throat> reported with a temperature of 37 at the twin cities so if you don't have access to cell service and stuff like that um for storms or you know just to what you're up against the next day certainly helps a weather band with a radio all right up next is something i use every single time just about every single time i'm out camping no matter tent or no tent is a grill and there's many different kinds of small grills i actually need to get a new one because uh one of the brackets on the bottom has busted um and it's quite it's used a lot and I get my gloves not because it's cold, because this is a twofer, not just the grill, but I also always bring a foldable chimney. Charcoal in here. You can use, um, any kind of accelerant on the bottom, newspaper works just fine there, and it gets the charcoal going. This saves so much extra time worrying about whether you're going to get charcoal up and running. I just get it lit on the bottom and then go set up the tent or whatever else I have to do. This is with me almost every single time. I just have good luck with this. And even if I made big cast iron stuff on here, small stuff, perfect size for camping. And this next one is something I always take with. Portable power pack, right? With two USB inlets um, to charge it, charge up. This one is nice, has a uh, thing, barely see that, but it's at 99%. This is the second one I've owned in um, about a year and a half. The other one just stopped. Um, but if you don't have electricity, if you have phones, I use it for phone and GoPro mostly. GoPro batteries, which you go through quite a bit. Um, and this has been good for um, up to three days for keeping my phone charged and the GoPro batteries. Um, not quite as good as a Jackery. I understand that's what a lot of people like, but um, I don't really need a Jackery at this point. It would be on a wish list, but um, I just, you know, either, either if you don't have electricity, this is the way to go. Um, and even just you know traveling a lot you know you don't always um, can't always use your car to charge stuff either um, especially if you're not in the car but out and about so 
Um, use this a lot, almost every time camping, even if I do have electricity, I, f I usually find a need for something like this. Different types. Um, I think this was like 45, 50 bucks. Uh, they make, they can go as high as you want, I think. Um, but for the mid-range one, this one does very well. Um, yeah, portable power pack. Probably pretty cliche, but it truly is the Swiss Army knife. I've had a couple of these over the years, two or three of them. Um, lost one, thought I've lost one, then ordered another one. Um, you just don't know how many times you, you, you're gonna need this thing. You, th you think you've got all the equipment you have and then you don't. Like, you know, I've never really used a corkscrew though. Um, but an, the knife, the can opener, you think you, you've got a, a can opener or something, you don't. Um, this is just a mid, mid, mid level one with some knives can opener which is not that hard to do once you try it once or twice um, scissors in here very handy to have always recommend this again this is a mid-size one I, I don't need the huge one I, I'm not or you know but Swiss Army knife always have it with me my hands look cold <laughs> they are And that's it, five things I always take camping with me. Whether I have electricity or not, I always have them with me because they can be useful one way or the other. I know a lot of people might disagree with these five items, but again, they're not the best or what you have to have. It's just what I take to make my life more enjoyable camping. So thanks again for watching. Next week, back to uh, the Arctic of Iowa in a very cold camper cabin video. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and uh, hope you're doing well.